Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today I'm putting the six spline end on the axles. Uh, there is the 19 spline finished. I'm doing the six spline today. Uh, and when I did the 19 spline, got a tremendous amount of hate mail. And uh, a lot of guys um, dislike the video. So, uh, let's just hope the same thing happens on this one. You guys that hate it, you probably can't cut your own spline, so give it a thumbs down if you need to. But uh, guys that enjoy seeing this, give it a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Okay, that's the wheel I had ground. And when you hear this going around, you're going to hear it um, kind of ticking a little bit. Like uh, the spindle's running out, which it's not. The spindle is dead zero. There is one tooth. There's one tooth on this that's just a hair longer than the others. And that screwed me up on my trial piece because I didn't realize I had a high tooth and uh, screwed up my depth. But I have everything dialed in now. And, uh, let's hope that this does the trick. Um, that's the reason why I want to get a cutter grinder on the floor. Still haven't found one. Still looking for one. And uh, hopefully find one soon so I could do my own um, uh, cutter making. But uh, let's get this guy fired up and uh, make the next blind. Okay guys, didn't get a lot of footage on the milling, but I think you got the idea how the six splines are going in. There are the axles. There is the original six spline. There's another one up there. 
I think you can see the fit. It's, it's absolutely perfect. And there is the tool that I used. And that is ready actually to go out to be sharpened again. But um, there's the axles finished. And I don't really want to be in the axle business, but these axles, uh, we're going to go in my 3B, remember that short and 44. Uh, but I did adjust the size of them, and these are headed overseas, I think somewhere in the Netherlands or Belgium or something like that. This guy's been following my channel, did the exact same thing as I did, was having trouble getting axles. And uh, his, his measurements weren't far off from mine, and he wanted the exact axles I was building. And uh, he is absolutely ready to start driving his Jeep, so these are getting boxed up and shipped out to, I think, Belgium or something. I'm not, I'm not sure. I, I, I'm waiting on the address. And um, they're, uh, he's going to handle the heat treating and stuff over there. They're, they're 4340. Um, and I'm going to make another set of axles for the 3B. Um, like I said, I don't want to be in the axle business, but I'm just trying to help this guy out. And, uh, you know, axle material can be a lot of different things. Um, you know, if you're not drag racing or, or off-roading, you know, severe situation, you could basically use anything. Stock axles are made out of, uh, like this guy here. Uh, that was either 1039 or 1050 you know back in the day um, 1045 is okay 4140 is fine 4130 uh, you can make them out of anything you want heat treating is different on all of them and you know you can go down a rabbit hole if you want to go down a rabbit hole on axle material but um, 4340 is uh, good for front axles because it's got a better twisting load not so much a bending load uh, you might use 1541 for a rear axle where there's going to be bending. Uh, like I say, there's a whole lot of different stuff to know about axles, axle shafts, everything. But um, these are going to get boxed up pretty quick and shipped out. And if anybody's interested, I'll show you again the setup to do the 19 spline and the 6 spline because, yeah, I'm going to make another set of axles. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this kind of stuff. Catch you on the next one.